What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the future of Destiny content. There's been a lot of stuff going on recently. Of course, a lot of Bungie layoffs. Uh, it seems like Sony is taking over more of Bungie than they have in the past. And there's some really good people that have left, you know, Bungie on their own over the last couple weeks. But that mass layoff is definitely cutting, cutting into what we can expect content wise or how exactly Bungie is going to handle this content. Uh, there's been a lot of articles out about this, a really good one on Forbes recently. If you have not read it, I would recommend that. But a lot of, you know, comments coming from Bungie developers themselves talking about what they plan on doing in the future. Nothing concrete yet, you know, where we have a laid out plan, but it seems like the large content updates. So, for example, the final shape, that one big content update we get a year is not going to be the same going forward. It seems like it's going to be a smaller kind of version of that. So it seems like they're going to kind of break this up into smaller versions and possibly keep those episodes or seasons coming out in between that. Um, price wise, there has been rumors that all their content going forward when it comes to, you know, uh, content packs is going to be free. I'm not sure if that is actually true. So kind of take that with a grain of salt, but there have been some rumors that all their content in the future will be free. But the main goal is that they want to develop more unique activities. Um, of course, there's been talks of more replayable activities. There's a lot of uh, replayability to some of the activities we've had in past seasons. And of course, a lot of those activities are gone now. A lot of people would like to see those brought back. But it looks like going forward, we're going to have more replayability activity-wise with some unique activities as well. Um, it seems, though, that a lot of people are concerned in the community because when Frontiers launches, of course, you know, later down the road, uh, it's going to be a large gap in between, you know, content. They're talking three to maybe even six months out, uh, you know, from each individual content release. Now, there may be smaller, like I said, episodes or seasons, you know, kind of in between that. But it seems like they want to do smaller uh, content updates to kind of give, you know, more replayability and more activities that are replayable for the community. But at the same time, the community is kind of concerned that if it's not going to be a big story, there needs to be enough replayability within, you know, these content, you know, kind of packs plus these small seasons or episodes, uh, you know, where players will have enough to do from, you know, a certain point to another certain point. So from point A to point B. So no matter how many months that is, players want to have enough to do to keep them interested. It seems like uh, the idea is just to make this, instead of one big campaign or one big DLC every year, uh, you know, that has the big focus on it, to really kind of spread out these expansions over time. Uh, definitely something uh, that... We're not used to, of course, now they've been changing up how things work. Even though we don't really have seasons anymore, we have episodes. Kind of the same thing. But it looks like they're going more with that idea, uh, kind of going forward. And the other concern that I've seen people talk about in the community is, since a lot of the Bungie employees have been laid off, some of this stuff will be outsourced, of course, to other people. Uh, people that may not even have you know, a lot of connection with the game itself. So there's been some concerns about how the overall, you know, updates will be handled. We'll kind of have to wait and see on that to see exactly who's going to be handling, you know, some of the maybe expansions or just stuff in game in general that maybe not inside of the company with Bungie. These could be Sony employees. Who knows who could be handling some parts of the game going forward. But when it comes to not having, you know, a widespread or not really having, you know, the one update a year and then having the smaller stuff with it and having more of a widespread or you know kind of scattered out smaller updates i'm kind of curious what you think about that so leave me a comment with your thoughts i think if there's enough replayability and activities it will definitely keep people interested but at the same time i'm kind of sad to see that one big story uh kind of campaign not not going to be there anymore and you think of games like world of warcraft or the elder scrolls online they have their one big story DLC every year. Then some smaller things kind of based around that before, you know, the big story DLC and kind of after. Now that Bungie is kind of moving away from that, I'm sure it has to do a lot with 
layoffs and probably a lot with, hey, we're not making as much money with these big campaign uh, DLCs as we thought we would. So let's try something different. We'll kind of have to wait and see what the cost is going to be. If it actually is going to be free, I'm going to be curious to see exactly what they're making their money on going forward. I don't think they're going to make enough money out of the store. Now, of course, a lot of people do buy silver and buy things from the store uh, in Destiny 2, but it's not like something uh, I would consider to be like Fortnite when there's people buying skins and stuff like that all the time. That's what keeps that game going, considering it is free. But we'll have to wait and see going forward how this, uh, you know, kind of smaller content when it comes to the size of it, but, you know, more frequently maybe uh, things coming throughout the game and more replayability which is nice for a lot of players. If these things are, you know, something you can match make or play with friends, that's going to be something I think a lot of people will like to see. But overall, I'm kind of curious what you guys think. Of course, I'm going to make some more videos kind of later down the road in the next couple of weeks talking about some other changes at Bungie. But just give me your thoughts on how this is changing content-wise for Destiny 2 and kind of how you feel about it. If you would like to see the content stay the same, same as we've seen for the last several years, or are you glad they're going in a different direction? Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.